Hey everyone, it's Amina Jaman, moderator of New York Neil Gallery's fifth online festival. I can't wait to talk to my next guest, and his name is Arton Humoli. Hi, Martin. Martin, you'll be after <laughs> you'll be interviewed after uh, Arton Humoli. We have two incredible photographers, so <laughs> can't wait to talk to you both and discuss your art. So, this is New York Neil Gallery's fifth edition, and Gallery was uh, founded in 2017 by Enrica Krasnici and Anil Zogiani. Hey, Martin. Yes, Arton. Hi. <laughs> join, join me. Let me send you an invite, and we'll discuss art with you and our viewers. So, please join me. And we'll go live now. <laughs> and before you join, I want to say to our viewers that uh, there will be 20 prizes and different nominations. Let me uh, read them so that you know <laughs> in which nominations <laughs> prizes will be given. Best photography, painting, portrait, human right image, image of nature, image of life, best music video, female singer, male singer, band, directing, designing, makeup, uh, song, original video, animation, installation, student project, experimental work, best virtual reality. So, are you excited? <laughs> As I am, I think you are. So, I don't see uh, Arton here. Let's go. Okay. Martin, are you here? Martin Del Carpio is participating uh, with two works. A photo? Hi, Amina. Video installation. Hi. Uh, how are you? <laughs> Great. And you? I'm doing good. How are you? <laughs> oh, fantastic. I see the moon. <laughs> it's like yeah. to the moon and back, right? <laughs> yes, in my room. <laughs> yes, very nice uh, and original uh, background, Martin. You. <laughs> <laughs> Have you uh, ever been told that your name reminds uh, Leonardo DiCaprio because you are Martin Del Carpio? <laughs> right, yes. Um, I've been told that before, yes. But he's the difference. He's a millionaire and I'm not, so. <laughs> <laughs> Small detail, right? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I want to say to our viewers that your work is very unique and both of your works uh, are black and white. Uh, you love this style? Uh, absolutely. I love black and white photography uh, in films in photography and uh, mainly because I think it's just so dramatic and I think mm -hmm. something comes out that's unexplainable, something that just outlines the the drama effect that you're going for sometimes. And um, yeah, I love it. It's silent films are one of my favorites ever. So um, black and white silent films, I like, yeah, I go crazy. And especially when they're restored and you could see it really clear, it's just amazing to look at. Yeah, so there is more drama in black and white, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Photograph, and you are a drama king, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. I see. So uh, there is a beautiful picture of yours, and you can see a profile of a man and a hand and uh, writing on a hand. So it's kind of painting on a man's hand that covers his face, a little like this, right? <laughs> it's <Right>. very interesting. <laughs> It can be a great profile picture on Facebook. <laughs> yes, um, I did use it as well on my on my Facebook. That's actually me. That really? Me. So um, that photograph wow. was taken um, a couple of years ago by my um, director of photography. His name is William Murray, mm -hmm. and I came. I went to his studio one day, and I just we started messing around with different poses. I said, "Let's go for something unique, whatever." And the photo just initially unedited, just sat there for months because we didn't know what to do with it. And one day I just wrote him an email and I said, do a double exposure, do a treat, you know, because I'm obsessed with forests. And I said to him, try with a treat. He was like, okay, you know, and then he went and he came back to me. He was like, oh my God, this is what I got. And it mm -hmm. was purely experimental. You know, it was just us messing around with ideas and see what comes out. So that's how that photo came out. Yeah, when you mess around, you know, the the result is always great, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's really cool. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> it's you. so beautiful. It's uh, on the edge of uh, photography and painting, you know? It's just uh, 
so unique and as i said perfect for a uh, profile picture <laughs> yes, it is yes profile and actually it's yeah. perfect for those who want to hide their real faces you know oh, yeah <laughs> on instagram or on facebook on any social media yeah. they're kind of there yeah. but under a uh, a nickname and without <laughs> their face <laughs> and you're like come on really yeah. and when they write like a uh, uh, direct messages is like blocked you kind of don't write to me you know right. uh, married or like you know uh, i'm taking all i don't expect <laughs> you like why are you here at all <laughs> just don't yeah. be you know here yeah. with your account you know deleted and nobody will write to you <laughs> yeah <laughs> actually i've been accused of that many times through what i do photography of myself people are like why well, you're always hiding all the time you're always wearing masks you're always wearing this thing it's just basically artistic you know i just say i like the idea of um i don't know for me to stand in front of a camera and just look into the camera it's just for me personally i'm not very uh photogenic i don't think so it's hard for me so i like the idea of just being more creative but yes you're right i do get a lot of that like why are you always hiding all the time what's the point of that you know well you're missing the artistic point every, but okay everyone was hiding that beautifully you know like so that no. <laughs> a work of art you know out of hiding yeah. right yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay so let's talk about your second work that's all uh, that's uh, you know uh, also uh, in a competition yeah. at new york new gallery's uh, fifth uh, festival uh, and uh, it's dedicated mm -hmm. to your father mm -hmm. and the name is uh, auricular confession yeah. so what's auricular so auricular confession is a form of saying um it comes from a religious perspective of saying mm -hmm. um hear my confession you know listen to mm -hmm. what i have to say this is my moment to express my inner deep secrets whatever it is that you want to say so that's why it's a ritual confession is to say i confess this is my moment you know mm -hmm. um i filmed that i did i filmed that film uh three months two months before my father passed away that year so mm -hmm. um when i was filming it i wasn't even thinking about my father so much i was just doing what i felt instinctively what i wanted to express you know um the the basic idea believe it or not was just me i wanted to have a nude guy in a video because i felt there was a sense of vulnerability for somebody to be nude and i wanted to express that um and i initially the idea was just to have this person uh walk around do very simple things write it in their journal whatever it is uh, very basic ideas and then it started to grow from that and then i wanted to express things about um i was brought up as a catholic i'm not a practicing catholic right now mm -hmm. i'm not adhere to any spirituality any religion despite the moon you know right now but i don't practice anything but what i will say is that being brought up as a catholic really shaped me as an adult made me realize so many things and i started to let go a lot of that uh religious upbringing but a regular confession was my chance to sort of just say what well, this is how i feel about being brought up as a catholic and i'm going to do it in an mm -hmm. abstract artistic way and that was what was important for me at the time um Esteban who's the model in the film came from Argentina to do this mm -hmm. film because him and I we met through Instagram and we were thinking about working for the longest time and one day he just tell me I'm coming to New York you want to do anything I say yeah I got this little simple idea um and he came and we he's a fantastic model actor I would say um and he was very expressive he was perfect for it everything that I asked him to do he was very comfortable doing um when you look at the film um oh, there's like there's the part where he lifts up black veil whatever that's just that was my way of personifying or symbolizing I should say uh the resurrection of Christ for example something that's very uh prominent in catholicism you know and things like that after the film was edited after the fin film was finished william who did the photo for involution 2 he came to me and was like here's the film what do you think and i loved it but um i realized that in a weird maybe subconscious way i i did it i, I think i built the story around my father thinking a lot about him since those were his last moments and i said i think i kind of did a film about him without realizing that i did and that, and i decided at the last minute to dedicate it to him so that's mm -hmm. what that came from yeah i see so it was easy to work with uh, your model right from oh, argentina yeah. 
Absolutely. Yeah. First time we mm -hmm. worked together and we just clicked. Mm -hmm. I see. I see. So uh, tell me, what are you working on at the moment? Well, right now, um, I shot this film called, um, I'm going to call it Howl. Like, uh, you know, how a wolf howls. And it's another experimental abstract film. Um, and it's being edited right now as we speak. Mm -hmm. And it's just about me as a, as a creative soul, as an artist, um, to still pay, be able to pay my bills, to still be able to uh, survive. I have to have a nine to five job. And sometimes, you know, I'm, I'm, I take that also very seriously. I have to be able to separate myself and, and do my job successfully in order for me to get paid, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes I, I just went through a recent situation where, um, I, you know, sometimes you just realize that the company that you work for, the department that you work for, maybe they're not appreciating you the way you feel you should. And there's a little bit of a how inside of me that I want to get out. And I think I'm going to do it with this film to say, you know, I give it all my best shot. I do everything I'm supposed to do. It's still not good enough. What do I do? You know, and this isn't my passion per se. My passion is something else. But unfortunately, um, I'm not able to really make a living out of that. So it's a moment of just letting it out, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's what that film will be about. I see. So I wish you best of luck with your you. films and your uh, photo projects. Thank you. Uh, never stop, you know, right. <laughs> and keep up <laughs> the good work and keep creating Thank and uh, be successful as a photographer and also as a visual artist with your installations. Yes. And uh, I wish you a lot of uh, exhibitions in the close future. Thank you. And thank you and for the opportunity for the that, selections uh, for the New York Nail Gallery. I'm, I'm very happy to be a part of it. Yes, thank you. Thank that you. was Martin Del Carpio, and we are moving on. And I have my next guest. His name is Arton Humali, and he's a brilliant photographer from Kosovo. So, Arton, accept my invitation, and we'll go live together. <laughs> Okay, I sent an invite. Can you see it? Arton? Yes! Hi! Hey, Amina. How, How are, are you? I'm good. And you? Ah, uh, Not bad, not bad. <laughs> not bad? <laughs> <laughs> Considering your Instagram, you're doing great, you know? <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. You have yeah, so, so many not... fans and so many great uh, photographs there. You do, like, fashion photography, social photography. You work in different genres. And I really loved your uh, photo called Apocalyptica. It's so beautiful. My God. You know, when did you make it and how this idea came to your mind to put the lady, you know, on the road, you know, you know, and... It's a railway, yes. The roof, <laughs> the roof on a platform becomes the it's wings, a... you know, for this lady. It's just incredible. Uh, thank you. Thank you for all your kind words. Uh, uh, we were shooting a, um, um, a collection... Uh, for a designer and you were like 20 people out there and I was all the time looking at the perspective and I took the camera I, I shot a few few shots and um, uh, something was missing you know in, in the photographs and in that perspective so I asked um, Diana the, the model uh, on, um, on uh, uh, photo to be there in just to stay there in the middle, in the middle and then yeah. the arms they will yes the arms were were distracting the, the the picture and the perspective so i told her to hide the arms and bit by bit uh i i, I made the shot uh, i was just um, uh, realized at the moment that uh, it could be uh, yeah, very good as a graphic in the uh, photography yes so uh, i i made it a few few uh, 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 a few years ago, and then uh, never published it until uh, this year when this Why? pandemic. <laughs> I don't know. It just when this pandemic hit us, and um, I realized I I had something. It's li like a dream that I saw it somewhere. It's like apocalypse, mm -hmm. and uh, I started to to think I have something 
that can describe that as this this uh, situation of ours at uh, this uh, this moment so uh, yes i named it apocalyptica because you see nothing there it's a old railway and uh, all the people that were there they were behind the camera and uh, you see as i described at the video uh, I, I saw the, the, the character there as a savior and the wings as a hope for humanity. Uh, so it was, um, it fits the, the situation with pandemic. And um, this is why I wanted to, to publish it and, uh, and um, uh, post it for, for people to see it. I mean, I don't understand only one thing. Why? Waited for two years. The picture of genius is like <laughs> you should have shared it with the world, you know, earlier. Uh, yes, but there are many, many photos that I don't publish at the time, and I and I shoot. I sometimes I wait for some, uh, maybe for some uh, to have a reason or something to to publish them. Not all of them, but some. I have some old uh, pictures that I never published, but I, I think uh, I will in in, uh, in the future. It should be uh, the right moment, right, for the right yes, picture. Yes, yes. I see. You know, it's the same like with me. You know, I have a lot of uh, outstanding songs, and uh, uh, my. Um, uh, sound producer once said, oh, can you bring like new uh, songs for the demos? I'm like, yeah, of course, you know, let's record something new. And uh, when he heard my uh, new songs, he was like, wow, oh my God, when did you write? I'm like, yeah, a few years ago, you know. Uh, and I'm, he's like, where were these songs? I'm like, they were just like under uh, my bed, like, you know, you know, lyrics yeah. and uh, everything was like there. He's like, if such uh, songs are under your bed, what's uh, on your table you know, like, <laughs> what kind of material is there yeah. so same yeah. with you and we have a question from new york elite magazine what work are you uh, most proud of and why thanks for the question ah uh, uh, thank you uh i don't know it's just hard to say for now i've been doing the job for 17 years now and it's hard to, to, to pick someone or some project. But anyway, I would mention one. Uh, uh, I, I applied for um, the greatest uh, photo contest in the world, as they say, in uh, uh, Le Grand, the, Le Plus Photo, grand, something in, in French, which I don't, I can't say it right now. <laughs> and um, it's for, from the ma uh, photo magazine. Uh, it is. Uh, uh, it was in 2020. Uh, I applied, and then it, it is consen considered as the best, uh, or uh, uh, the best, or the biggest uh, photo contest in the in the world. Uh, it, the, the name is the Plus Grand Concours Photo du Monde. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the magazine was established in uh, 1967 and, and the covers were like all the, the public um, faces and VIPs as Michael Jackson and Barack Obama and uh, Lady Gaga and uh, I don't know, all these stars. So I applied and I, to, to make it short, I won. Wow, the, congrats. The, the contest. Yes, it was the uh, 39th uh, edition, and uh, uh, with me being 39 years old, I, I won the, the contest. Wow. So it's that's one of my, uh, my, my highlights. Uh, yeah. to, Can you to, send me uh, the picture you uh, won with? I want to yes, see it's it. Pro yes, it's in a profile um, uh, picture. Uh, there you will find it's a uh, mystic ice. It is called, mm -hmm. and you have the 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 article there that they wrote for for me. It's in the French, in uh, in the French uh, uh, language. You, you'll find all the 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 informations there if no you problem. see the the profile there. I'll yeah. just Google translate it. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Copy paste and then translate. Yep. Yeah, I know a little bit of. Uh, Albanian language, <laughs> so <laughs> oh, 
Urime, urime. Palindere, palindere. Thank you. Shum for joining us and making this world a more beautiful place with your pictures. So tell me, you do fashion photography. What's more interesting for you? Uh, to work with models or to work uh, with personalities you admire, you know, outside of fashion industry? Uh, it's, um, it's always good to, as I mentioned uh, before, it's, uh, we, do, we do fashion and we do beauty photography, we do glam, and we do all those genres when we, uh, we have to do them because we need to support ourselves mm -hmm. with our lives yeah, and just to earn money. from <laughs> fashion yes, money just for money yes, yeah just for but we, we, we all the time we want to put um, some art on it even though it's um, it can be considered as commercial photography uh, this and that but that's why they, they hire us to to put some art on it Mm -hmm. uh, even though it's uh, it's for for example for designers for the uh, clothes and collections and beauty for makeup and hair and everything, uh, I want to to put some something of, of myself in the photography, uh, and it's different with my personal work with my independent ideas that I have. I don't ask for anything from anyone. Mm -hmm. I just want to to do what's in my mind. And that's um, what um, um, these photos uh, uh, helped me to have uh, many, to be part of many uh, international exhibitions and, and festivals. Mm -hmm. uh, personal work uh, mainly, or to say, I think it's 100% mm -hmm. of my, uh, the, the personal work, not the work we do for, for clients and um, others, even though I appreciate and I, uh, I uh, respect and uh, I'm thankful for them to, to hire me and to work with them for uh, so many years now. I see. You said about like uh, models in fashion uh, clothes, right? Uh, in gowns. And I'm like, clothes? Come on, most of your models are naked. <laughs> Or in, bikini, in underwear, like, and I personally want to know: Do uh, dressed people have a chance to have a photo shoot? Yes, yes. You? <laughs> I know the people tease me on that always uh, with that. Um, it's a idea of uh, having. I had a, a, a personal exhibition in in Tirana a few years ago. When I had um, uh, the the exhibition was called Body and Soul, mm -hmm. and it's always a, a a message behind it. It's um, to show the the beauty of the woman and the beauty um, uh, uh, of uh, of the art piece. And I I, I say that for 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 the woman uh, that it's a it's a piece of art, and we we should not uh, we should hold it. Uh, uh, and not uh, not ruin it, not destroy it, uh, to respect it and to value it. So uh, I call for gender equality, for uh, women's rights, and uh, uh, against the violence for uh, on 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 uh, women. So this is my idea of having the the women even naked and half naked and with the beautiful figures, but we have to respect them. They are not the objects. They are bodies with the soul. Mm -hmm. Objects have no souls. So I wanted to say that we have to respect them. However, they, we, we should look at them as a uh, piece of art. I and see. And appreciate them. I see. So I'm this, this was the, 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 the idea of all these um, Pictures and, and nudes and hot nudes and these kinds of uh, uh, of, uh, of uh, picture. And speaking of gender equality, uh, uh, do you shoot beauty of uh, male's body as well? <laughs> Where are these uh, pictures? Yeah. <laughs> I want to see them. <laughs> uh, man hesitate doing that. You know, uh, when they when they say fashion, they think it's only you know women dominated. 
And even though it's fine art fashion, it's they um, men hesitate to do. They're more uh, women. They're more um, open for for that. Uh, so yeah, I could I could shoot um, men as well. And uh, as I say, I'm for for um, equal rights and uh, uh, this gen gender equality. So uh, yeah. Yeah, Why not? Because, uh, <laughs> speaking of that, you know, uh, Martin Del Carpio's uh, short film uh, Auricular Confession has an actor uh, who is naked in the video. So, like, <laughs> yes, yeah, no, he's, <laughs> right? he's absolutely right because it did take me a long time actually to find um, a male actor or model who wanted to do uh, a film that's in the nude. So, he's absolutely right. It is more difficult. Women are a little bit more open about that, you know. So. Yeah. I see. Well, that's, that's I, but I mean, there is a chance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Searching. It, it, <laughs> even, it, 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 yes, even in, in, in the pictures, like centuries ago, uh, women dominated the, um, this in nudes, uh, nude arts. So. <laughs> the, I, yeah, I, I see. So, Arton, we have a question from Mila Ardandres. Uh, where did you study photography? Uh, actually, I uh, I studied uh, massive uh, communications, media, um, uh, uh, this media production. I studied um, uh, photography, design, and um, uh, screenwriting, and all of these, and uh, journalism, and everything. It's uh, about what I've studied: uh, massive, massive communication. It is called the uh, the uh, what I've studied. Mm, I see. Uh, also, uh, media, media, media production. Mm -hmm. And also, we have a comment from Grace Hoti. Uh, I'm so glad and so happy for uh, working with you, Arton. You are the best photographer. Um, hi, Grace. Uh, she's <laughs> one of my my. Grace, uh, Grace is one of. Um, the best models I have ever worked with. Uh, uh, with it's her, the model uh, with whom I, I won the, the, the contest I talked earlier about, the, the, the French uh, uh, mm -hmm. photo magazine contest. Uh, so uh, thank you to, to Grace. She's a very, very good Great model uh, works in Italy, and uh, she's um, uh, she is uh, extremely talented uh, model, and uh, she's doing very good, and I'm proud of her too. Mm -hmm. Awesome, sounds great. So tell me, uh, what are you working on at the moment? Oh, tomorrow I'm gonna shoot a, a, um, this um, makeup um, portrait about um, uh, cosmetics that we, we're going to do uh, videos and, um, and uh, photography. So both I do videography as well. Mm -hmm. So when I, when I take photos, I, I put it in record and I do record stuff. So we, we edit it and, and put it as, uh, as, uh, as one. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow at 11 in the morning, I, I have to, to be there on the set and do do that except for other things that for the uh, are gonna wait for um, upcoming days so how do you make it uh, like a camera in one hand and a video camera in another hand no 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 i will i will first for example we do the uh we do the photos and then after that i put the camera in recording mode and i record the I, I do the, the motion pictures, as I say. Mm -hmm. So I, if you see the, the, the pictures in the, at the page, you will see many uh, works like that. So mm -hmm. you see the, the, the face, and we do uh, advertisement for, for cosmetics and these mm -hmm. uh, makeup um, equipments that they use and for makeup artists so they can show their work and their talent. Uh, for hair hairstylists and etc. Mm -hmm. And where are you based in uh, Pristina? Yes, I'm based in Pristina. Mm -hmm. Also, 
Okay, uh, but uh, you also work in other countries. Uh, can you do like photo shoots outside? Do you travel uh, and work? Well, yes, I, I would like to 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 travel more, mm -hmm. but we have this visa visa restrictions, mm -hmm. and we cannot uh, travel uh, a lot without uh, visa. So, it's but it's temporary. Uh, kinda, we all uh, pray. We hope so. Pandemic will end, you know, and the world will be open again. <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, before March very, very soon. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, very, very soon, so we can travel and and um, and uh, work with uh, different uh, people and different mm -hmm. cultures and different different in different places. Uh, and my last question for you, Arton: Whose soul would you love to capture? Hmm. Uh, and there are many, many people I think out there. When I think, it just name a few. Many. Someone <laughs> you admire, someone you think uh, is a great person. Yeah, before you meet these people, you know. <laughs> <And> <laughs> till, till you meet them. Disappointed. <laughs> but who, like you know, uh, who are these people? Yeah, I, I would uh, like to mention one. As a, a big fan of um, basketball and NBA, I was growing up watching Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, oh, jam. Yes. So I'd like to, yeah. <laughs> so if, um, yeah, it would be great to, to have a shoot with, uh, with uh, Michael. This is my idol. And I play, used to play for, for school, and I'm a big fan of, uh, of uh, NBA and basketball in, in general. So, mm. yeah, Michael would be probably the, best, the the first one too. So I wish you best of luck and I have no doubt that this Thank dream uh, uh, will come true soon and uh, can't you. wait to see more of your works. I'll scroll down on your Instagram page. <laughs> Now I know Thank you, you. <laughs> so I'm going <laughs> to check them out <laughs> and uh, please I mean, I... uh, take pictures of uh, outstanding men too, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I will take pictures of you as well when, when we meet. Yes. Hopefully, hopefully soon. And please, like, uh, uh, consider me as a model uh, for your next photo shoots. But uh, I warn you, I'll be dressed <laughs> in a beautiful <laughs> dress. Okay, okay. Such yes. dress. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> actually, your work that's in the competition uh, of New York Neil Gallery's fifth edition, uh, Apocalyptica, uh, you know, has a beautiful model, Yana, as you mentioned uh, earlier, Yana. in a very stylish black dress. So beautiful. So trust me, when someone is dressed like that, it's way more beautiful to look at uh, than Andres, <laughs> you know, because, you know, you, you still can see the beauty of a body. Uh, and also uh, you see the message, you know, you see the bigger picture, you know, you see nature. It's more than just a body and soul. Trust me, it's way more uh, uh, thrilling. <laughs> it it is when you uh, we'll find the best designers for you when we meet. I so already they will dress you up. It's very touching. Huh? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> about that i even have a dress so. well, okay so good so you, you take the, your your own clothes well, then. Just pick the location <laughs> and, we make, and, and meet there meet. <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank okay. you mina thank you for having me and i'm very happy to to be part of of uh, new york nil gallery i was uh, um, very excited and happy when i found out that i'm Uh, I've been selected to be part of the festival. Thank you very much. No, thank, thank you, you to, to, to everyone who made this this uh, this possible. Yes, thank you. And uh, I, I know a few lines in Albanian. Uh, I uh, wrote a script and made a movie with Paul Curti, Right to Love. And I say these lines uh, in the film. That's why... Uh, I know them and I can uh, repeat it so that you understand. Campion is Zembrestime. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Yes. <laughs> bravo, bravo, Amina. <laughs> yes. And Faliminder is shown for this uh, wonderful uh, chat. Uh, can't wait to see more of your works. And thanks to uh, Martin Del Carpio for the chat as well. It's an honor to meet you guys. I wish you both best of everything in art and in life <laughs> thank you thank you very much my model 
I'll send him my model for his first nude male model. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You will travel from Argentina to Kosovo, you know, just to be <laughs> shot by you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bye, guys. That's awesome. Bye. Bye. Ciao.